Good morning and hello and welcome to day 11. So day 11 is all about water being the elixir of life. Often we forget to drink water and we often get tired because we're dehydrated or we get cramps because we're not drinking enough water. So always a good idea to have water first thing in the morning, as I said in my affirmation, start the day with a glass of water and try and reduce the amount of sugary drinks we have. So, and uh, don't drink too much tea or coffee because obviously it's um, not too good for you if you have too much caffeine, okay? Because that also interferes with your sleep, which is what we talked about the other day. Anyway, without further ado, we haven't got time for sleeping. Um, make sure you've got your water ready and we're going to get going. We're going to work in threes today. Okay, so let's start with our warm up. We're going to start with a gentle jog in place or a march on the spot. Jog in place, march on the spot. Gently start raising your heart rate. That's good. Excellent. We'll do a pendulum swing now, side to side. Awesome. Do jumping jacks. Okay. Good. Okay. And then we'll punch across. Punch and twist. Punch and twist. Well, good. Okay, from there, feet wide, open and close the chest. Hamstring curl, so leg curl, just bring your heel up to your bottom. Open and close the chest. If you think warmed up, everything moving. Ready for our exercises, ready to face the day. Really boost your energy levels. So we're over halfway now with our 21 day plan, which is superb, you can ever so well to keep going. Very excited to get you through it. And hopefully you should really start with feeling, feeling those energy levels rise. You'll start feeling the benefit of exercising each, each morning. Really start feeling like you're sleeping a little bit better now. And moving through any aches and pains that you might have acquired from doing exercise. We tend to find that when we first do exercises, the next day our legs and things ache. But the more we move, the better. So often the more you rest, the stiffer you get. So if you work your way through the, uh, the few aches that you get from working your body, then you'll get the you'll soon get over it. Okay, good. Turns point forward now, and we're gonna do wide, uh, side lunges, can't speak. Side lunges, so transfer weight from heel to heel. Okay, good. Keep your tummy tucked in, your shoulders square. Okay. Okay. Alternating lunges. Let the back heel come up off the floor. Okay. So we've got three exercises, and I'm going to show you um, different intensities that you can work at. Okay. So you can choose to work at a high intensity and a higher impact, or you can choose to work at a low impact and a lower intensity if you wish. Okay, so depending on what level you're at, you can choose which one you want to follow. Okay, but the timings will all be very similar. Okay. Okay. And then arm circles. Round and round we go. Left it again. Okay, and then back round the other way. 
doing some work. Warm up those shoulders, get everything ready and prepared. Okay, good. All right. So, first exercises are squats or squat jumps, plank ups. Now, they're tricky, but you can do those on your knees or you can do them on your feet in plank position. I'm just going to bring my mat so you can over here so you can see my full body when I'm doing them. And then we're going to do a tummy exercise, so we'll be flipping over and on our backs, okay? Right. So, 20 seconds of an exercise, three times round. Okay, so it's three by three. Are we ready? Okay, so we're just going to start with squats. So this is the low impact version. Squats, okay, like this. Medium version is one, two, three, jump, one, two, three, jump, one, two, three, jump, or if you just want to keep a higher intensity, just keep jumping. Okay, down on the mat, on your elbows, or on your knees, and we're going to come up and down, that plank position. Okay, so that's easier on your knees, harder, lift your knees up off the floor, okay, from elbows onto your hands. Okay, then we're going to turn over, lay on our backs, easy version is legs bent, tap them down on the floor, okay, but keep your lower back in the floor, don't you, let your back come off harder, your straight legs, okay, up and down like that, both at the same time, okay, okay, so we can do jumps, squats, or pulse and squat, pulse and jump. I'm not going to jump this time. But you can just squat if you want to. So, a little squat jump like this. So, this is the high impact version. Okay, there we go. And we're going to be in plank position, coming down onto our elbows, back up onto our hands. Okay, if you want to make them easier, put your knees down. Otherwise, keep going. Okay, turn over. And we're going to do leg lifts like this. Or you keep your legs bent, lower back in the floor. Okay, if you're struggling, you can put your hands under your bottom so your back stays on the floor. But if you're strong enough, try not to. Try and use those tummy muscles to keep your back down. One more time. So squat jumps. Oh, ordinary squats or jumps like this. Squats like this. Oh, pulses if you want to. Okay, or you can do a mixture. again. So down onto our elbows, up onto our hands. Okay, good turn over, double leg lifts, or bent legs, or straight legs. Okay, make sure that lower back is staying in the floor. So really pull that navel into your spine. Okay, good. Awesome. Good, you get a little rest. If you want to grab some elixir of life, <laughs> grab it now. A little easier one now. We're doing belt kick squats next. So we're gonna squat, kick out from the hip, alternating leg. Okay. Then we're going to do plank jacks or step outs, okay? So plank jacks are high impact and 
and uh, high intensity. Plank step out are a bit lower, it's not difficult. Okay, so plank jacks like this, jumping, or you can go down like this and do step outs like this. Okay, or you can do jacks from your elbows as well if you want to. We're going to do in and out now, so put your hands behind, lift your feet off. We do aiming back, rocking back, push your legs out. Easier version, one at a time. Okay, harder version, hands off. And another quick one for belt kick squats. Okay, good. Awesome. So you can see me in the mirror behind, it makes it look like I've got more than one person in here. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, good. So down on the floor, on our hands, and we're going to jack or we'll step out. Or you can step out on your elbows as well. So this is the higher impact version. Step out on a low impact version. Good. Turn over. Easy version with hands behind, one leg at a time. Rocking back each time you push your leg out, or both at the same time. You've got to keep your abs really tight for this one. Okay, good, up we come again, bell kick squats, last time round, okay, good. Good, good, good. Oh, definitely feeling rosy now, feeling as hot as my hot pink top. Okay, good, plank jacks, hands down or on your elbows. Either stepping out or jumping those jacks out. So if you don't want impact, don't jump, step. Okay, turn over, in and out. Okay, hands behind, in and out. Nice little bit of core work here today, okay? And the plank base works really good for your core, but also good for upper body strength too. Well done, good, quick drink. Next we have jump lunges or regular lunges, or you can do three pulses and a switch and a step. So, jump lunges are like this, okay, one, two, three is the medium version, if you like, easier version, just lunging like we did in the warm-up, okay? Okay, renegade row, so back in that plank position, okay, easy with your knees down, hard with your knees off, okay, bringing your hand backwards. Rowing. Awesome. Keep your tummy pulled in. Elbows back. Minimise the rock in your hips if you can. It's not that easy. Okay. Then on your back, I'm going to do up and out. So up, pushing them out. Up, lift your pump up off the floor. Up, out. Up, out. That's it. Jump lunges or regular lunges, or you can do the pulse and the switch. It's up to you. OK, 
Okay, Renegade Row. Good. Pronounce again. Okay, good. Alright, so lay with your head on the floor if you want to, or just lift it slightly off. It's up to you. Up and out. Up and out. Up. Out. Good. Awesome. Okay, one more lot. Jump lunges are one, two, three pulses. One, two, three. One, two, three. Two, three. Good. Okay, maybe the cake row again. Alright, so. Tummy pulled in tight, try not to rock those hips. Remember, if you want to make it easier, put your knees down. Good, well done, up and out, last time. Up and out, up, out. Oh, you might find after this workout, Make your tummy muscles hurt a little bit. Whew. Up and out. Up and out. Good. Ooh. Have a little rest between, as the lady says. Okay, now we're going to do squats and lunges. So we're going to do a combination room. Okay, on your feet. Squat, lunge back, squat, lunge back on the other leg, squat, lunge, squat, lunge. Good. Then we're going to do mountain climbers or you can do plank tucks if you want a less intense version. Okay, so hands down, plank position, tucks coming across like that, mountain climbers, jumping them in and out. And keep your bum down. Okay, then we're going to do bicycles. Lie on the mat. Okay, and we're going to go our ankle and temple opposite sides, pushing out nice and long. So, this is version number one that we're doing this time round. I'll show you a harder version next time round. Good, up we go. Alright, good. So, lunge, squat, lunge, squat. Good. Awesome work. Good stuff. Hands down, mountain climbers. Or if you want to, you can do plank tucks. So you just bring a knee up, knee up. All right, so we're not actually putting any uh, impact through our feet, our legs. Okay, lay down. Bicycle crunch, harder version. You would go elbow to knee, like this. Well done. Okay, off we go. Squat and lunge. A lunge and squat. Okay. One more lot of mountain climbers on plank tucks. 
and then I'm going to show you the difficult version of bicycles. So if you're a beginner, stick with the harder, sorry, the easier one. Don't do the harder one. Yeah, okay. Uh, tucks if you want, or mountain climbers. This time, a harder version is to sit on your tailbone, seat bones, and just lean back and ankle temple, ankle temple there. Okay, much harder than lay down flat. You need to keep your tummy really tight. Whew. Drink. Right. Next one, we've got. Um, amphibians and worms. I don't know what I mean. <laughs> Frog squats first. So feet wide, toes turned out, and we're just going to touch the floor between our uh, feet, getting our bum down, bending at the knees, bending at your bottom, at your hips. Okay, then we're going to do reptile steps. So you step up to one side and back, then the other side. Okay, so this is like a reptile. You know, you see them in the desert on the hot sand. Okay, so this is the easier version. If you can't get your leg up as high as me, don't worry, it doesn't matter. Okay, then we're going to lay on the mat, feet hip distance apart. That foot away from your bottom of your feet, and we're reaching around for our ankle bones. So we're squirming like a worm. Swim like a worm. So we're squirming to get away from the frog and the lizard. They want to eat us. <laughs> Alright, frog. Okay, so if you want to make these harder, you can jump like a frog off a lily pad, okay? It's much harder than just the squats, okay? But if you can't jump, stick with the squats, okay? So reptile steps, easy version. If you want to make them harder, you can switch side to side and jump like this. Okay, or you can just do the steps. Okay. Okay, and we're going to squirm like a worm. I have to remove the bottle out of the way. Okay, right, good. Squirm away. If you want to, we can go touch down, heel raise, touch down, heel raise. Okay, reptiles, if you want to jump, feel free. Let's step. Doing great. Worms. Okay, all right, on your back, feet flat on the floor, reaching round. That's it. Good stuff. Amazing. So, shoulders up off the floor, looking at your knees, tuck your chin in. Rest in between. We just have 
One more round left, one more circuit left. This one's quite fun. Okay, so we're gonna leap forward and we'll go three hops back. Jump forward, three hops back. And we can go step forward, one, two, three, four, five, yeah? Good. So you're either jumping or stepping forward, you can shuffle backwards. Okay, good. On the floor, we're going to do the T-plank. So in a plank, we turn one way, then we turn the other. Rolling our feet onto the side. Okay. I normally do these the other way around, so you can see them the other way around, but I've gone this way today. I'll let you the other way on the next round. Okay. Good, then we're going to do Russian twists. So feet on the floor, lean back. Twist side to side. Okay, that's easy way. Harder way is to lift your feet off. Okay. Awesome. Okay. So long jumps, three hops back. Or a big step and th just a little shuffle back. So try and jump the length of your mat. And then hop back. I quite like these, they're quite good fun. Okay, T points, I'll go on the mat this time. Like this way. Alright, and we're gonna go off and turn. Let your feet turn. Roll over to the sides of your feet. That's it. Pushing twist. Whew. Excellent. Twist, twist. So if you want to put your feet down, you can. If you're feeling strong in your core, lift them off. Alright. We've just got one more round and then it's stretch time. Okay, good. One leg forward. One, two, three, back. One leap forward, one, two, three, back. Okay, good. T planks again. Right, one off, other off. So then transfer the weight over, and sit nice strong arms. Okay, good. Right, lean back and twist. Some work. Time to stretch now. Okay, so onto your hands and knees, hands out in front, open your knees out and sit back on your heels, press your shoulders down to the floor. Breathe in, breathe out. Again, breathe in, breathe out. Okay, then we're going to quite move our hands around and on this side, I'm going to stick my hip towards you, press down. So we get a nice stretch from the lower back, right up our lats, the sides of our back, top of our back, into the tops of our arms. Okay, good. Then we're gonna come the other side and do it the other way. So pressing down through the shoulders, doing it right round the lower back. Okay, really giving us a nice stretch there. A lot of plank work there, a lot of core work. Okay, right, then we're going to come forward, lay down, elbows underneath our shoulders, 
Hip bones on the floor. Okay, draw your navel into your spine. Take a nice deep breath in. Lean back and breathe out. Okay, keep those abs pulled in. And if, as you tilt your head back, feel a nice stretch right up the front of your tummy. Okay, then relax and come down. Head on the floor. And bring one foot up off the floor. Heel to the bottom. Just bring your knees together. Okay. And then we swap it over. Do the same thing on the other side. Nice and warm. Okay, a little bit longer than what we've been used to. Uh, 23 minutes of working out there. Okay, then we're going to hook up our hands and knees, dip our toes and extend our legs. Okay, push our heels down toward the floor and then I'll just move so you can see me better. To a nice downward dog position, so pressing through the shoulders, heels down to the floor, feeling some real calves and in your hamstrings. Okay, then we're going to step wide and walk our hands in toward the centre. Hold it there in the centre and breathe. Go to one side, stretch on that side, then over to the other, stretch on that side. Then back to the centre, walk your feet in, tailbone up to the ceiling, hands on your hips, come all the way up right, <sighs> round your back, look down to the floor, and take your arms behind, lift your chest, look up to the ceiling, <sighs> reaching up, lean over to one side, bend to the other, back to the centre, out to the sides, give yourself a clap, well done, enjoy your day, and remember, to take your water bottle with you. Have a fantastic day. Bye everyone.